A few weeks later, I received an invitation from Bishop Waleran. In Winchester, we and Waleran's allies were to meet King Stephen himself. The bishop seemed assured that, because we had helped the king, Stephen would support us in return. And that with his help, we would be able to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. Percy Hanley. Bishop Waleran. Good morning. Ali! It's them! Over there! The Hamleys! Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. But we have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me. Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Good morning. Bishop Henry, this is my prior. Philip of Gwyneth, prior of Kingsbridge, my Lord Bishop. You won't have to say much today, Philip. Leave the talking to us. No, leave the talking to me. King Stephen is my brother, after all. Let us make haste. My brother is an early riser. We must make haste. I want to go hunting in the new forest. England is full of game. No comparison to Normandy. This country is still wild. This is Waleran Bygert, the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Waleran, I remember you. We've met before. And Percy Hamley. My king. He brought Bartholomew to justice. And it's not the first time he's helped me. He has Norman blood in him. <laughs> we should hunt together someday. Indeed, sire. Bartholomew, on the other hand, will not leave the jail alive. Uh, Percy Hamley did not do it without help, my lord. It was I who told him of the plot against you. And now you come to be rewarded as well. I see. My brother, the Cathedral of Kingsbridge has burnt down. Waleran asks for a reward, not for himself. He asks for our church. I take it your church cannot afford to rebuild that cathedral, Henry. Neither can the crown. I, or rather Bishop Waleran, had an idea. You could give the Earl of Shiring's lands to the Bishop of Kingsbridge to finance the rebuilding of the cathedral. I like the idea. But Percy and his men were the ones who took Earl's castle, not Bishop Waleran. Right, Percy? Uh, yes, my king. He knows the area, and he will be a loyal Earl, will you not? Of course, my king. You ought to give thanks to God first. God made you king. Don't go on like that, Henry. Don't do that. You know what happens when you do that. It was a long way to this throne. A long way. Yes, my brother. Now I will hunt. My Lord King, I thank you for being willing to reconsider the future of the Shiring Earldom. When shall we hear your decision? Tomorrow. Bring my bow. Tell the men we hunt.
Philip, Waylon and I have much to discuss. All right. But what can I do to help? Well, my brother asked me to get a confession from the traitor Bartholomew. A confession would be helpful against those who believe Bartholomew's arrest was unjust. And it may help us to convince my brother to forget all about his promise to Percy Hamley. Percy Hamley will have the Oldham of Shiring. But would he make a good Earl? Who cares? Stephen wanted the throne for 20 years. Now that he has it, he must be loyal to those who are loyal to him. Who knows? Maybe Percy will make a good Earl. From what I've heard, Lady Hamley pulls the strings. They think Stephen will make Percy Hamley Earl of Shiring. From what I heard, this is about the cathedral in Kingsbridge. It burned down. Yes. Then the king should help in some manner, but not by giving away English land to the church. Did you not say Bishop Henry was the richest man in England? Then why is he not paying for the cathedral? God has very tight purse strings, it seems. <laughs> they don't believe Waylaren's plan will be successful. Bartholomew and his followers would have only been the first wave. Robert of Gloucester remains, and he will attack. And that's what you keep telling us. Maybe because the king likes to hear that you share his worries about Robert of Gloucester. Robert of Gloucester wants to see his sister on the throne. He will attack. And the Welsh will fight on his side. You mark my words. They think Robert of Gloucester might attack. Could you let her get away? That little bitch. I will find her mother. She was here? Why? To see her father, of course. But that won't help her. She has already made a fool of you once. Don't let it happen again. No, mother. Day. You come to visit someone in my jail, Father, or do you want to pick out a nice warm cell for yourself? How dare you? Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. See? A smile. Just for you, Father. Bishop Henry sends me. The bishop, eh? What does he want? He wants me to talk to Bartholomew of Shiring. Bartholomew of Shiring. Ha! It's only Bartholomew now. It's his fourth day without bread. Soon he won't even be Bartholomew anymore. Bartholomew. I am Brother Philip. Could you forgive those that wronged you? Only God forgives. A monk should know that. Why did you go against the king? 
Stephen sent you. Why would you side with the usurper? I was asked to make you confess. <laughs> Stronger men tried that before you. Why should I confess to you? Your people found refuge in my priory. Your confession will help me to give them work and shelter. I have no sins to confess. My only regret is that I failed. I will not tell the king that. They will kill you. They have already done that. Monk, tell them that I confessed. To what? All of it. Treason. But... The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father. Tell Stephen that as well. You... know the scripture? Richard and Aliena, my children, they must live. And a good day to you too, father. Monk, it's about time you showed up. Huh? Regan Hamley? We have not been formally introduced. You are a fool. Is that formal enough for you, Monk? You don't understand any of this, do you? It's as if you've never set a How single can I foot help outside you, your little Hamley. priory. How you let yourself be used by those two greedy bishops, I'll never know. <laughs> Waleran wants the lands of the earldom for himself. Henry knows that. Say something! You don't believe me, do you, monk? Why would Waleran bring me, then? To plead his case. If Stephen had not believed him, Waleran would have sent you forward. I know you don't trust me, but your bishops are no do different you have from a way me. To prove any of this? Ride with my son, William. Just a few hours. I will prove to you that Waleran will betray you. All right. I will ride with your son, if only to prove you wrong. Very well. Maybe you're not a fool after all. But do not let the bishop see you. William? What? Ride with Father Philip. Do as I said. William Hamley declined to tell me where we were heading. He enjoyed keeping me in the dark and forcing me to follow his lead. Sometimes he sped ahead on his war horse and it took me some effort to catch up. But sooner or later he would stop and wait, sneering as I rejoined him. On one occasion, he stood there urinating against a rock. When I caught up with him, he turned without covering himself. He found my shock at his shameful behavior comical. He laughed, got back into the saddle, spurred his horse and rode off. Again, I followed, hoping this journey had not been another horrible mistake. Near a bridge, I found William with a group of washerwomen. He was shouting at them. When I arrived, I could only hear their replies. They said that they had not seen a girl or a boy fitting his description. A younger, blonde woman said that even if she had seen the girl, she would not tell him. Apparently, she had heard of William Hamley. William grabbed the startled-looking woman by the arm. He shoved his right hand under her skirt. She started crying. The other women asked William to stop, but were afraid to anger him. William turned and grinned when he saw me approaching.
When he heard my words, William's grin faded. He pushed the young woman away. The other women looked at me in a strange way. They must have asked themselves why a monk would ride with such a man as William. We rode off, and William stared at me full of spite. I told him I pitied him. I did not tell him why, because I had no words for it. We did not talk after that. Not for a long time. William talked to more strangers along the way. First, I believed he was asking for directions. Then I realized that money was changing hands. William was paying these people for information. I was glad that for now he had lost interest in hurting others. Then I saw an old woman pointing William to a bearded man on a horse. William called the man a horse thief. Then he grinned and signaled the puzzled man to get on his horse and ride with him. They rode faster and faster, and I could not hear what more they talked about. William bluntly threatened to have the man hanged for stealing a horse of his, and then ordered him to hunt down the real thieves in exchange for his life. The man laughed as if he had made a great bargain. William even paid him. Before the man rode off north, William mentioned a name. Aliena. And I prayed that whatever William's plan was, that it would fail. Then William waved at me to ride faster. I reckoned we had to be close to where Lady Hamley wanted us to go. Not long after, my stomach turned as I realized just where exactly we were bound. Just a moment. What? You know very well that Bishop Whaleran is in Winchester now. So what are we doing here? No idea. Mother never tells me anything. She treats me and father like damn children. It's a wonder father ever got to fuck her in the first place. But here I am, and I'm starving. Damn, I'm starving. Where are you going? In there. No! I'm sure the bishop would want to see me well fed. We won't be staying long, so whatever it is you've got to do, do it fast. How can I help you? How about you step aside? <coughs> William forgot to close his saddlebag. that is this why Reagan Hamley thinks that Whaler and wants the lands of Shiring for himself he is the bishop he 
can do as he pleases. Perhaps he is just building a guest house. No, it is too big for that. What in the name of Christ is he building out there? Please! You were here before, weren't you? Yes. I remember you. F Philip, isn't it? Yes. Please, uh, you have to help me. I what happened? He forced me to serve him food. He took the Lord's name in vain, he, and he pushed me and touched me. Oh, God. Ah, the monk. Oh. Did the boy call you? So what, did he ask you for help? Did he come running to you? He didn't have to say anything. I knew you would get us in trouble. Trouble? Me? We're young men, he and I, and I play rough. So what? I asked you to leave. And that is what we will do. What will the bishop think of your behavior? Listen, we're all on the same side here. We are not. You, me, him, we're all working for the bishop. He won't mind. I play rough, so what? <sighs> we are all men of God. Well, how are you working for the bishop? You already forgot. I found you, back in Kingsbridge, when I escorted him. You did not find me. The bishop and I got talking. We have an understanding. An understanding about what? I took Earl's castle for him. Your parents agreed to arrest Bartholomew because they wanted his earldom. Who cares what they think? I felled Bartholomew's men with my sword. The old man was begging me for his life. On his knees, he begged me. I did it for the bishop. What? But hey, I'm sure you did great things for him as well. <laughs> you think my father took Earl's castle? I pity you. Again? You dare to say that again? You pity me? I pity you. You're not a man. Neither of you are. We are men of God. A man kills, and a man fucks. And no one talks down to me. No one! I know you saw me in that whore at the river. I would have fucked that woman if it hadn't been for you. And what would that have achieved? She'd have learnt her lesson. And don't you think I noticed how you spied on me and that horse thief? I should kill you for that. I should. Let me tell you. I will fuck Bartholomew's whore of a daughter. I will fuck her good. I'm a man! Damn it, I'd fuck the boy if that was the only way to put him in his place. Hell, he looks like he'd enjoy it too. You are not a man. You are a beast. Oh, I am a man. But yes, there is a beast in me. It hunts and kills like no other. I unleashed it for the bishop. And my sins are forgiven. Not even God would forgive those sins. <coughs> of course he would. He already did. The bishop told me. Then the bishop is wrong. <gasps> hey. We're on the same side here. Now, we will stay here a while longer, as I've not finished eating. Shit. Make him go. I want him to leave. 
now. Tell me, what is being built out there? What? A substantial construction is underway, it seems. Yes, but... What is it? A castle. Uh, the bishop is building a castle. A castle? Why a castle? I don't know. It is not for me to ask or question the bishop. Of course. And I doubt it's for you to question him either. Better. Hmm. There, that looks better. Throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What? Hell. It is a depiction of hell. I told you of heaven and hell once before. Do you remember? Of course. The bishop said the relief intimidates even his most impious visitors. They all fear death. I'm not afraid to die. Do not fear those who kill the body. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Who's he? The devil. A fallen angel. I have nothing to be afraid of. The cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars. Their souls are the devils. They will all go to hell. Stop it! Hell is far away. I'm not afraid. And if anyone's name was not found written in the Book of Life, he was thrown into the Lake of Fire. What's that? It's from the scripture, the end of days. The second death of the sinners. Bishop Whaleran said that if a sinner stares into the flame, the devil stares back from the lake of fire. What? Hmm, I can't see him. What is it? I... We ride back to Winchester. Now! What happened? Maybe he saw things to come. Good. Now you leave as well. That man, 
William. Had no idea why you two came here, had he? You came here to spy on the bishop. You brought this man here. I... Leave! Go! But leave the table where? I only wanted to tidy up the table. Of course. I knew you couldn't be trusted ever since I saw you stealing apples and hay when you first came here. My son seemed thoughtful when he returned. You priests and your talk, <laughs> you always get to him. He seemed more excited after talking to your bishop, though. Then again, we know Waleran is good with words, don't we, my husband? Of course, yes. Speaking of Waleran, what did you find, monk? A construction site. Ah. So Waleran has a building project of his own. Did you also find out what he is building? A castle. Yes. He is building a castle for himself. And he used up every stone and every tree on his own lands. He claims he wants Bartholomew's land for your cathedral. But what Waleran wants is a castle. He's always been like that. Not long ago, you doubted my word. Do you still doubt me now, Father? What do you want from me? As Prior of Kingsbridge, you will agree that my husband shall have the whole earldom of Shiring. And why would I do you a favor like that? Because we will support the rebuilding of your cathedral with our stones and our timber. The king can live up to all of his promises, and Waleran gets nothing. That is our offer. What do you say? No, we have no deal. Why not? We made you a good offer. Your offer is not enough. The king still considers giving all the lands of the earldom to Waleran to rebuild our cathedral. You need this deal with me just as much as I do. This is... Ugh. We taught this fool well, it seems. What are your terms, father? What is more valuable, arable land or forest? Arable land, of course. Then you shall have the arable and I'll have the forest. I need the forest to hunt. An earl must have his hunting grounds. You can hunt there. I just want the timber for my cathedral. Ugh. Which do you want, the cattle pastures or the sheep grazings? The pasture. Then I'll have the hill farms with their sheep. Would you like the income from markets or the quarry? Suppose we said the quarry. You won't though, will you? No. We'll take the markets. You can have the stones. It is agreed, then? We have a pact. My husband will let the king know of our agreement. Bishop Waleran will be quite surprised. You will see his true face when he does not get what he wants. Ah, Philip. What is it? About Bartholomew's confession. Maybe you can get him to confess. I do not believe my prior can do more than you could, Henry. Perhaps he knows he will die, no matter what he says. He confessed to everything. But he asks for clemency for his children. Good. I will let my brother know what we have achieved today once he returns from the hunt. 
Good, Philip. You did well. About Bartholomew's children. My brother was never one to judge a man by the deeds of his father. Still, I shall mention Bartholomew's request to him. Would you not rather build a castle, my bishop? What? A castle like this, I mean. Do you not find this place remarkable? Winchester Castle? Of course. It is. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Yes, there is not much a monk can do here. Yes, your bishop and I will do what we can to help your priory. My loyal subject, Percy Hamley, today becomes the Earl of Sharing. Of the former Earl's possessions, Percy shall have the castle. And all the land that is tenanted to knights, plus all other arable land and low-lying pasture. I swear by all that is holy to be your liegeman, and to fight for you against any other. My king... Ah, yes. Of course, I have not forgotten the worries of my bishops. <clears throat> the Earl of Sharing himself, Percy here, solved this problem for me. Thanks to him, I can uphold my promise. Don't worry, Bishop Waleran. Kingsbridge shall be rebuilt. Percy told me of a man here whom my brother has not yet introduced. Come forward, Prior. My brother, may I present to you Philip of Gwynedd. My king. You seem afraid. What are you worried about? I'm worried because I don't have a clean robe to wear. Then stop worrying. I like a monk to look like a monk, not like a king. Now, about the arrangement between you and Percy Hamley. He insisted that I give the sheep grazings belonging to the former Earl to the Priory of Kingsbridge. The Priory will also have the right to take stone from the Earl's quarry and timber from his forest. I wholeheartedly agree with the plan you two have devised. It shall be done. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. It seems unnecessarily complicated to give the land to the bishop. Percy told me that you, Father Philip, share that sentiment. He told me it was your idea to take up the burden of managing the rebuilding of the cathedral yourself. I... Wonderful. I'm glad that we all were able to help you, Bishop Waleran, in this pressing matter. After all you have done for me. Thank you, Lord King. Bartholomew lost everything in his attempt to end my reign. This morning he was found dead in his cell. I've heard that you, Pra, worry for his children, Richard and Aliena. While they shall lose their status, their name, and their land, they shall go free, wherever they are. You must be very proud, Lady Hamley. Of course. Father Philip has been very understanding in all this. Yes, he is remarkable. Very remarkable. My husband and I were terrified when we heard about the fire in Kingsbridge. It is a blessing that we can help him and his priory now. You sowed the wind, Philip.